Oh, hey everyone. So if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. My name's Corbin, and here I cover everything Ionic brand related, including my Hyundai Ionic 5. And you might be wondering why I'm sitting in my car with the doors open, and that's because today we're talking floor mats. So Best EV Mod just sent me their form-fitted all-weather floor mats for the Ionic 5. So I'm gonna show you guys how well they fit and some of the features that they have. So let's not waste any time. Let's start talking about these floor mats. So installation of the floor mats is just as simple as any other floor mat. So this whole part here will swivel So you just want to make sure that that scallop section points towards the back of the car and that will allow it to attach to the, the floor stud properly. So just like any other floor mat, stick it in. You're going to kind of want to lift up the front edge so that it can catch on to that stud. And then the same thing over here, kind of tilt it, then push it down, and just like that, there's your floor mat, installed and ready for use. So looking at the fit, it's really good. So they went ahead and split the mat directly in the center, unlike Woo EV, who split their mat on a bias towards the driver's side where their mat stops right about here and the passenger side mat comes all the way over to this point. So the material here is the same XPE that they used on their trunk liner, which you can see in the link above. And it's just got a really simple straight line pattern, which is nice. It seals really nicely against the door sill here. There's no gap here. And unlike Wu EV, they are using the correct style of grommet here. They're using the, the one for an L bracket, whereas Wu EV just has a circular cutout that doesn't really fit over that, that securing rod perfectly. So I'll give them a lot of credit for that. You can really tell how well the fit is because when you push right here on the dead pedal, there's no give. All around, I'm really impressed. I will say my one complaint is if you're looking for complete protection against water um, traveling around on your floor mat, there is no lip on the backhand side. So water could potentially run off the back edge or the center gap here. You do have these grooves in the mat that will collect some water or snow melt. Same thing holds true for the passenger side. You can see nice tight fit against the door sill. I will say when I did get the floor mats, this gap was more like this, but after the car sat in the sun for a few hours and it relaxed and gave up the shape that it took while it was in the shipping box, I don't think that's anything to worry about. If you do go to install these mats, just know that this gap will close up after a day or so. So you can see here, it's a nice tight fit around the lower storage compartment in the front. And you can see that there is a little bit of an overlap between the two mats. So if you do decide to move from the passenger seat to the driver's seat, you're not gonna get a bunch of stuff on your carpet. So the rear seat is the same material, same grommets here in the back seat. So here in the back seat, you will notice that there is just a tiny bit more of a gap between the edge of the floor mat and the door sill, but it's really pretty minuscule. You can see the floor mat does go fairly far under the, the front seats. So even if you got a taller passenger like myself, my legs are pretty far stretched out right now. And they're pretty much almost all the way on the floor mat. So if you were sitting in a more rel relaxed position, then you got plenty of protection from people's feet in the back seat. So you will notice here that I have the version for the sliding center console. Now, Best EV Mod tells me that they do have a set available for the standard console like I have where it doesn't move forward and aft. So on first blush, I really like these floor mats. 
I really like how well they fit. I like the tight tolerances they offer to the spots in the car where you would want it, like the door sill. I like how grippy they are. I also like how easy they are to install. I really like the fact that the holes for the studs are the right size and not just extras left over from a different type of floor mat. Obviously it's summertime here in New England. We've barely gotten any rain this summer and I wanna put these things to the real test, which is a New England winter. So after the winter and some snow and ice and slush, I'm gonna do a video in the springtime where I compare my experience with all the different floor mats that I'm going to be testing for the Ionic 5. So in the springtime, expect a new video where I talk about floor mats and who the real winner is at the end of the day. So as always, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody. So if you're anything like me, you're probably disappointed after you purchase your Hyundai Ionic 5 and realize that there was no overhead storage for your sunglasses. So I solved that problem with the Hyundai Ionic 5 magnetic eyewear holder. It simply clips onto the magnetic area next to the driver display and your sunglasses go right onto it. These are 3D printed in PETG and will not soften in the heat of your car. They utilize a one and a quarter inch rare earth magnet that keeps them securely on your dashboard and a strip of Velcro protects the frames of your glasses. These will work well with thick plastic frame glasses such as Ray-Ban Wayfarers, but not so much with wire frame glasses like aviators. These are available for $20 plus shipping at the link below in white or black. Thanks for checking them out.